I had the idea for the Ultimate Fighting Championship as far back as 1969 when I was in the service. We were always talking about being able to see which martial arts would really be effective. The UFC brought the light. Your martial art may not really be the fighting art that you believe it is. You take a karate guy off his feet and he's a fish out of water. And these stand-up guys, they had to learn how to wrestle or they didn't have a chance. They went for the no rules, no time limit, old Brazilian concept. There are no rules. Two men enter, one man leaves. Well, what is that suggesting? That's suggesting that someone's gonna die. It was devastating, and you could feel it. You know, you could feel the, the pressure inside the company. You could feel the pressure, you know, at events. It was just, it was really tough. Early UFCs were pathetic. I'd watch it with people who were doctors, and we'd be frightened by what was occurring in the ring. This is just a little stepping stone to make sure I still got my timing on. Royce Gracie was obviously, you know, a competent jujitsu guy. I know Brazilians who say that he was merely a purple belt. You're only as good as who you're matched with. John McCain came out against Ultimate Fighting, and he labeled it as human cockfighting. When uh, Time Warner banned the sport, when they weren't showing the broadcast, mixed martial arts was in a real dark area. Jimmy Garcia fights Gabriel Ruelas. Jimmy Garcia dies in that match. John McCain is ringside. While the UFC was going through their first struggles and bringing in with no weight class, is a big guy, no skill against somebody else, you know. And you know, while they were doing that, in Pankers they were fighting real fights. Shut up! Let me stop! It goes all the way back to Antonio Noki and Muhammad Ali. I mean, they had the famous match in the 70s in, in Tokyo. In California, it was illegal, but California was the hotbed. Some of these have been some of the things you're doing, the backyard fights, the underground fights, I won't mention any names, but there, there's been no, there's no ambulances there. These guys are sitting there putting their lives online, their body, they might have to get them to go to work, fucking Arco or wherever there's some of them are businessmen, doctors. The underground events at one point in time, that was the only thing that did keep mixed martial arts around.